Good evening. My name is Ashley Nance, and for my discussion board topic, I've chosen to examine the importance of Puritanism in the American founding. One might argue that without the influence of the Puritans, the American system of government as we know it today would be drastically different. We tend to forget that many of the beliefs and ideals of the Founding Fathers were actually grounded in the teachings of the Puritans. In his article from the Journal of Politics entitled, Tocqueville's Puritans, Christianity and the American Founding, Sanford Kessler, the Associate Professor of Political Science at North Carolina State University, points out that we mistakenly tend to trace America's origins to a philosophy, primarily that of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, rather than to the religious tradition of the Puritans. As we will see, a close examination of the structure of the United States government and the basic principles upon which it was founded reveals a profound connection to Puritanism. In this week's video presentation, Comprehensive Puritan Faith, we learned that the Puritans believed that all of life was to be reformed by God and that the Bible should be the foundation for social, legal, and family norms. This manifested itself particularly in the form of church government, which they advocated, one of self-governance and church autonomy. They emphasized rule of the church by elected representatives, otherwise known as elders, not by a king and not by a bishop. This form of representational government served as the model for the democratic republic style of government which the framers of the Constitution defined, and to which the United States adheres today. The Puritans also laid the foundations for the concept of individual human rights in 1641, when they composed the Massachusetts Body of Liberties. This was a document which served as the first Bill of Rights, and it was unique in the fact that rather than listing laws prohibiting certain actions, it outlined specific rights, which the Puritans believed were given to every human being by God himself. As such, these rights could not be removed or infringed upon by the government. In our textbook by Mark Knoll, we read that there was no separation in the Puritan mind between public and private life, between church and the state, or between the individual and society. All spheres of life were created and designed by God to be connected to one another. George Marsden, in his critique of Perry Miller's Rehabilitation of the Puritans, echoes this sentiment when he writes, Critics prior to Miller played the trick of evaluating the Puritans in terms of their acts in the spheres of politics, economics, and personal morality. Miller, on the other hand, observes that the action was only secondary in the Puritan scheme of things and was worthless to the Puritan without the profound piety which was its source. Charles Cohen also recognizes this connection in his review of Robert Middlecoff's book, The Mathers. Cohen states that Middlecoff identifies the Puritans as, quote, sensitive men whose passions inform their theology." End quote. Even to Middlecoff, it was clear that the beliefs of the Puritans were deeply rooted in their views of how God had designed the world to work. The influence that the Puritans had upon the founding of the United States is one that we can easily discredit, thereby overlooking it altogether. However, we must not fail to acknowledge the importance of the many ways in which the Puritans helped to create the American nation and the Christian ideals upon which it was built.